Hello everybody, I am Harvest Birdie and welcome to Chapter 3 for Spirit of the North. And as promised, I have another new skin to show. This one I really like, I think it makes Foxy look so cute. It kind of reminds me of a uh, Shetland Sheepdog. Yeah, I really like the colours of this one. Uh, Foxy just looks so pretty with this and so cute. <laughs> Right, enough of uh, admiring the skin. I don't know where Aurora's gone, but I'm sure they'll uh, catch up to us in a minute. Okay, and jump again. There's Aurora. What are you doing back there? Oh, that bark noise is kind of cute. Come on, Aurora. Chop, chop. You're supposed to be leading the way. You. Oh, we've been very vocal, aren't we? Oh, that is so pretty. I want to be able to do that. Wait up. Oh, I guess she wants to get a move on. Uh, can I make that jump? Oh, yes I can. Great. I don't know if that's dust in the air or pollen. At least it's not that red plague stuff. <laughs> we don't want to be encountering any more of that anytime soon. Alright, a small rune stone. Oh wait, I don't have any powers, do I? Ah, flowers. These were given to me. Blue flower power. Here we go. Oh wait, is this, uh, has this got me a different uh, marking pattern? It is different, right? I'm not just uh, imagining it. Oh, I've never actually used any of these skins before, so this is a first for me. Oh, okay. I didn't notice the, gr uh, the grey one we had last time had a different markings. I think it looked the same. Um, as a, I think the grey one looks the same as the uh, regular red fox skin. Oh wait, actually, let me just uh, grab my powers back from these. There will be flowers sort of all, all over the place, but I might as well just grab it, grab my powers while the while they're there. I don't know if this is black sand I'm running on or just black dirt. Uh, I'm not sure. Never been to Iceland. I do wish I could see the Northern Lights though, but I live in London, so that's uh, an impossibility. You know, they were apparently able to be seen in the UK, I think, uh, I can't remember if it was last month. But yeah, living in London, light pollution, there was no chance. And as much as I'd love to see the Northern Lights, I'm not going to go travelling all over the place just to see them. Right. This way. Ah, there's another mural here. You can get an achievement for activating all these, but I'm not going to do it because... Uh... Well, I'll do this one just so you can see it. But they mostly all just show the same things that we've seen before. There's not really any variation in them. Right, I did spy a ruined stone. Ah, there we go. So 
So I've got to activate that to uh, advance onwards. It's a good thing I was standing here. Those would have crushed me. They fell on top of poor Foxy. One of the few I can take the power back from because it won't revert it. Right, so now I just need to get up there. Uh, I can't remember which way to go to do that, so bear with me a second. Ah, this way. Here we go. And there is also a stuff hidden here, so we're going to grab that. There's a free charm as we gotta return staff to in this level. There you go, buddy. They're always on their own, these shamans. There's never a group of them or a pair. I don't know if they were traveling when uh, they died or if they just got completely caught out. No clue. Right, let's go across this uh, stone bridge we made for ourselves. We sprung a leak. I, uh, this way. I think. Yep, I think this is the only way. So, we're gonna do this one. You think if they were falling down they don't work but they do still work? I think it's only they're broken. Oh, and now we're flooding the place. Nice of a roar to show us the way. need to find some flowers as, as well. Any flowers anywhere? Oh, perfect. Oh yes, now this stuff you have to grab before you um I think it's this one before you do the next bit Oh wait, or was it the next staff? It's one of these staffs you have to grab um, before you flood an area, otherwise you can't get to it. You can't get it back. Oh, I forgot it does that. I hate it when games do that because it uh, makes me feel a bit rushed. And it always makes me think that once it happens, you can't go back. I mean, obviously, you can in this um, game. Well, that's a bit of a jump. Oh, 
I don't know if you stand on those and then they fall if poor Foxy goes with them. I presume they would. Here we go. Wait. Oh, oh my god. So many falling stones everywhere. Right, so this area we actually get to drain the water. So instead of flooding Iceland, we get to take away some of the water instead. Oh wait, I've got to put this down first. Oh no, no, hang on. What am I on about? I need to get some my powers back first. And some handy flowers right there. Right, now I need to put this down. Get these. There we go. Now I can pick it back up again. Bit of a weird mechanic. You can't get your powers if Foxy's holding the staff. Okay, now I need to go and get my powers back because... Wait, can I take it back for me or are you just going to refill the area again? Oh no, you won't, okay. When I played it through before, I used to just go straight back to the flowers. I wasn't sure whether it would revert back and flood the area again, but... Thankfully, it's not going to do that. No, mind, we just reflood it all again. Oh, we're going to sink Iceland. <laughs> Poor Iceland's going to become waterlogged. <laughs> right. Um, flowers. Ah, here we go. At least we sound like some sort of addict. I need flowers. Give me the flower power. This one's a little bit of a nuisance to try and get. Come on. There we go. I found that sometimes you jump near the flowers, it makes you get um, the power back faster. Quite a few ruin stones we have to uh, use in this level. This is when it gets a little bit tricky, because now... Whoop, nice jump, Foxy. We need to jump to that ledge. And I'm hoping I'm not going to mess this up, because if I do, there's no going back. Okay, here we go. There we go. Oh, actually you can just drop down to it. Okay. And here is a hidden shaman, which I was uh, unaware of before. Come on, Foxy, drop it. There we go. Right, they're done and dusted. Now we can uh, progress onwards. Oh, this one's already turned on. Oh, okay. I've got to do a pair. Come on. Don't wag your tail. As cute as it is. There we are. Oh, my God, that nearly landed on me. What about poor squashed foxy? Oh, my. Um, I don't think I should be strong enough to do that. <laughs> okay then. Right, 
Right, this bit is a little bit of fun. Gotta head up here for some flowers. Come on. There we go. Right, I gotta uh, remember where to go now. Um, it's down here somewhere. There should be a little hidden cave. A little hole. Ah, here. This is where we need to go. Way ahead of you, Aurora. Now we've activated some geysers. I'm assuming that Iceland has geysers in real life, being that it's uh, volcanic. Oh, that red trail in the sky is so creepy. So horrible. I would hate to see that in real life. Right, there's a rune stone up there, so I need to go back to those flowers first before I start jumping around. the story is behind these flowers. Why do they give Foxy powers? I do not intend for that to rhyme. Were they specially planted? Did they grow naturally? Oh, hang on, let's see if I can catch this one. There I go. Okay, and I should activate more geysers for us now. I don't think I'd recommend jumping into a, a geyser fountain like that in real life. I have to imagine it'd be pretty hot. Okay, and uh, right. Back over to where the flowers are. Some of these I don't think you have to bother with. Uh, unless you want a bit of fun. Oh, that one doesn't really do anything. Right, we need to use this one here to get across. Oh, that was good timing. And I should be able to just jump. There we go. Onwards, Foxy. Ooh, another structure there. I like the colour of this water. That's handy. Uh, just flowers over there, so don't need to go there. It's like a nice little waterfall. I find it very relaxing. Something so relaxing about the sounds of nature. Waterfalls, birds singing. Oh, fuck, he's going to be soaked after jumping through all these geysers. Right, now this bit is a bit tricky. I got uh, caught up for quite a while in this bit when I first played the game. Now there should be a... Yeah, there we go, a staff. Yep, Aurora's uh, a bit eager for us to go on. You gotta wait, Aurora. I can't just fly around like you can. As handy as that would be. It wouldn't be much of a game, though, would it? If I could just fly about. Okay, now can I grab this? Ah, good. I was worried because of it being near the flowers that it might confuse the game about what I want to do. Now, if I'm right, this is a... Uh, a I call it a seesaw bridge. You jump on it and it... Yeah, it moves. I've got to try and remember now how to get across this thing. Oh. Oh, and there's a rune stone. Right, so I'm presuming I have to get up there first. Uh, up here. 
More tumbling stones, that's good for the nerves. Okay, uh, can I run? Let's try and do a running jump. Yes! No! Oh dear. Uh, don't get stuck. On this one here, and uh, we're going to try that again. No, oh, messed it up again. I'm not the best at timing doing jumps like that, if I'm honest. <laughs> so I'm probably going to have to do this for quite a few attempts before I get this right. See if I try jumping from a different point. Oh, come on! I did say this bit starts to get tricky. Presuming I can't jump from this one. I'm guessing it's not... Uh... Oh, I can! Oh, alright. Gonna save myself a bit of trouble there. I thought I had to jump from the other one. There we go, that's opened up... Uh... The... Stone. I don't know what to call those uh, shaped stone bits. Okay, um. Don't see flowers first. Just in case I need them, because you never know. Rather get my powers while it's available than me running around later trying to do it. Okay, and then up here. Perfect. Right, I've got to walk around here. Here, and then somewhere should be those... Sh ah, there we go, there's the shaman. Sweet. Be nice that there's a bit of variation in what the shamans do. I mean, they all just... Uh, put their hands together like they're praying and then they bow their heads. It would be nice if there was a little variety in uh, what they do. Maybe have some bow at the waist or some, um, I don't know, like hold up a hand in thank you. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting that one to move. I kind of feel like that wouldn't happen in real life. Surely it would just fall down slide off into the ground or into the water. Right, this is the second tricky bit now and this got me going for quite a bit. So originally I didn't realise that Aurora shows you the path to take. So I was tr struggling for quite a while to figure that out. Before I do though, I will show you what our objective is. Because if I go through here, we're going to see something uh, recognisable. And poor Faxi's giving you a hint there. It is more of the Red Plague. Now, I'm presuming it's because Foxy has their powers that, uh, even though they do look quite sick and weak, they're not collapsing. So maybe the powers just gives us a bit of an immunity, or, um... What's the word? Makes us a bit more... Res resistant to it, but thankfully poor Foxy's not going to collapse while they're in here. Still, I'm going to save them the suffering and head back out. Oh, why is that one wiggling? Ooh. Don't like that. There you go, Foxy. I'm not going to make you suffer needlessly. Right, so we need to get over there where Aurora is uh, waiting for us. And this bit, I don't find using the guys are that helpful. I find it more of a hindrance. There we go. I'd much rather jump than use the geyser. Right, now we've got to head up here. we we'll ignore that for a moment, because first, we need to get over onto that... 
Rocky Ledge. It looks like a bit of an awkward jump, but it isn't that bad to do. There we are. Honestly, thought I was going to mess that up for an instant, and I was like, thinking to myself, I'm going to eat those words. Right, head up here. And there's our ruin stone. We're going to need to activate these first before we can do anything else. This one's the easiest to get to. And as you can see, there is the second. I don't like this bit. Because I'm going to need to jump down onto those little steps. You can see them. Um, there we go. And yeah, it is quite a small space to be dropping down onto. And I really don't like doing these sort of things. Hopefully I'm going to get this first go. Let's see. Wish me luck, fingers crossed. Oh, there we go. I think I just made that one. Now I need to go... Wait, what am I doing? I need to get my powers first. Dummy. Ah, oh, damn. Well, guess we're going to have to swim back across and do this again. Can't activate the ruin stones without your powers. You know this, girl. Come on. Right. Powers. Okay. Now I need to go through all of that again. That glowing stone will become relevant in a moment. Just bear with me. Page the back. And run. Okay, here we go again. Know that this time I will probably fall straight into the water and fail this spectacularly. Come on, come on, inch out. Ooh, that worked. Slow and steady, as they say. Go down here, perfect. Right, second one, activate. Now, I'm not going to lie, when I first played this, I didn't realise the relevance of that bit of wall opening up. And I got really confused as to what I was meant to be doing next. I actually wish I'd recorded this when I first started playing this game, but that was before I decided to start trying to do YouTube. I do promise I will be playing some games that I've never done before so you will be getting sort of blind first playthrough reacts to them. Thing with some games my memory's so terrible about them it's almost like I'm playing them for the first time anyway. Right now we need to get over to where that gap has opened up or I can just jump the whole way across again it doesn't make much difference. Um, but for the sake of it I'm going to try doing it this way. Right, now I've got to try and jump across now. There we are. Come on, jump up. There we go. And again. So yeah, this bit was flooded. Because if I go up here, you see that's where the first rune stone activated is. I didn't realise that this area drained of water. It's only through me wandering about, trying to figure out where I'd gone wrong, that I came across this. This is the third and last rune stone we have to turn on. There we go. And as you can see, that uh, pillar has now got a second marker activated. So let's go and find out what's in store for us, shall we? Uh, I'm trying to think what's the easiest way to get to it. Let's see, can I go... Backwards, 
over to that bridge or is that not going to work? Oh, it should work. Maybe. Oh yeah, it will. What am I talking about? Right down here. Now we can just run straight up to it. And it will bestow upon us a gift. Now, to show you what this does, I'm going to head back to our Red Plague Cave. Poor Foxy's got to suffer one last time for you all. So I can show you what this does. Well, you've got to do it anyway if you want to progress onwards. Oh, I know, Foxy. It won't be for long, buddy. I feel so cruel I'm to do this to them. But the game demands it. Okay, here we go. Now this bit I like to call Foxy going nuclear because it kind of reminds me of when uh, if you've watched Godzilla and when Godzilla overpowers he starts to glow. This is what it reminds me of. Here we go. And there we go. That noise a foxy made, I hear that a lot in London during the breeding season, the foxes. That, and if you've ever seen a, uh, a, um, like a TV show set in the British countryside, they always play that sound in the background at night. I don't know why. It's like no matter what time of the year it is, if it's in the British countryside and it's dark, they always seem to put that sound effect in. I mean, foxes don't make that noise all the, all the time. The only time I've heard that noise is uh, when the females are ready to breed and they, they do it to um, attract the male. Otherwise, I never hear them do it. In London, it's uh, it can drive you crazy because it's a built-up area, so the sound really echoes. Especially when they're doing it at night when you're trying to sleep as well. Here we go, this is the last bit we need to do for this uh, chapter. Oh, let's head on through once again towards the bright light. And there we go, that is the end of chapter 3. Uh, the chapters that follow on this uh, um, are going to get harder and will be a lot longer. And they're also the ones I'm the least familiar with doing. So bear with me if I end up running around in those ones a bit more, just as a, a warning. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed this video hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel i hope you all join me for chapter four and i will show you another skin for foxy but until then take care everybody